I started a business with 1,000 and I got 5,000 profit with less than a week. Ask me how. If you want to know how, be sure to watch this video until the end. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking for a Hi DD Squad, welcome back to this channel. So if you're an OG, welcome back. Thank you for clicking to this video once again. If you're new, be sure to click on the subscribe button because here we do solve issues. Anyways, here we do lifestyle, home decor, and fitness content. So in case you're into such vibe, why can't you subscribe? Because it's free, it's free of charge. Anyway, guys, as per the title, I'm going to be telling you or either sharing with you five business ideas that you can work from home. Right now, many people have been like being fired from job or they're just at home doing nothing, just house chores. But I got you, I got your back. Anyway, I'm going to be sharing with you the business ideas that you can work them, you can work from home and at a comfort zone. You're not supposed to like report to work, but you have to work hard, not really like really hard that hard you know that it's your business you have to control yourself you have to have discipline consistency is always key and the first thing when you're in business what i'll advise you to know is that the customer or either a customer is always right even if you're seeing like here he or she is totally wrong make sure you just show them really right have the courtesy have good communication skills you have to google you know the communication skills how you communicate with customers how to convince the customers because business is all about convincing customers yeah so anyway I started this business actually when I was a first year so my mom gave me a thousand shillings like a pocket money and I'm like okay this week I'll use this money like the whole of it and i'll end up just asking her again for some cash and of which that's not good she has took me to school she has paid for me like school fees and i'm not supposed to ask money from her other cash because she's struggling or she has her business she has her needs or rather so with that one sh 1000 kenya shillings i went to okay i have friends these friends they usually see me with like the palazzo pants because i love wide legged pants because of the size yeah anyway they usually see me with those pants and they're like do why can't you just share with us where you buy the pants or either sell for us and i'm like you want the pants okay and then i have 10 friends so honest when they ask for something they're double sugar i'm double sure that, like they're going to pick it so that's not a loss you have to really with good friends customers yeah so i went i bought the palazzo pants at gikomba where i usually pick them and i usually like buy them the maximum price they usually sell them it's a hundred bob a hundred kenyan shillings and you know what their camera clothes thrifting thrifting like they're really camera clothes you can get the colors from white blue gray the stripes ones like they're really nice you can go with them anywhere you can just attend any functions with them you just have to style up you know you have to style things yeah so anyway i bought 10 of them and they are going for a hundred kenya shillings that's a thousand bob i, I came and sold them they were I sold them at 500 Kenya shillings. That's what that was the marked price. The five it was 500 shillings. Can you do the math? Can you do the math? Is that 5000 shillings and it's less than a week, guys. 5000 in less than a week. Why can't you just do the business? No struggles, you're controlling yourself. The, the the thing with the trick with thrifting here you have to like go when the bell are opening yeah you go when the bell is opening you just take the camera clothes because you want to sell the good clothes because people really want designer clothes and what the best thing with thrifting clothes or either mtumba clothes you won't see another person with it so and they're always like cute they're durable so 
yeah that's what i did and i got 5000 kenya shillings that 5000 5, i was able to like cater for my transport going to school cause i was not staying in staying in a hostel to and from from home to school so that's for transport and then i also started another business whereby i'm going to share with you guys so we have said the first business is that for clothes the thrifting one i've written the notes here as usual as usual you can also get the, the thrifting clothes from as low as 50 kenya shillings and you come and sell them from 250 make can you can you do the math and see how much profit like you've made so the profit that you've made go and buy another cloth and sell them you can do that like three times and you find like your business has really grown here you have to be just disciplined because me remember the first time like before that 1000 i started another business i made so much profit for 7000 yeah 7k and i used all of it like <laughs> going for lunch all that shit but you have to be disciplined you have to be consistent just send yourself kujituma that's the word Tra direct translation yeah to make people understand more better so unafar like kujituma know yourself like if this is what i want and this is really working for me you have to really maintain the discipline you have to be honest with yourself know that you're the one who is controlling your business yeah so the next business and guys this one is like and I'm going also to be mentioning the shops. If possible, I'll leave the numbers of where I, I do like buy the things. So the next business is the duvets and bed sheets. So they have seen that duvet. <laughs> so anyway, guys, the duvet you can buy them from 1200 to 1600, even to 1400. And buying that buying from 1600 or 1200 you can come and sell the duvet at 3500 and you know the duvet has that duvet it has two pillowcases yeah and also there are some who which which usually even have the bed sheets like one bed sheet yeah so guys for 3500 and you've bought like 1400 how much profit profit is that how much how much what else do you want what else do you want and also the bed sheets really vary you from even a thousand bob and you can sell them at 1500 a profit of 500 that's a lot you can restock the business even start another business with that 500 so the next the next on that the beddings on the topic of the beddings there is bed sheets and bed sheets i'm going to divide them by two so there is the cotton one and the nylon one. For the nylon one, they do start from 300. I buy them at 300 at Kamkunji. The beddings, I usually buy them from Kamkunji. So the nylon one, I usually buy them at 300 and I come and sell them from 800 to 1000 bob. Also, there are those people who you know whom to like, where's it was 800. And this person is worth 1000 bob. So just sell it at 1000 bob. And also, they the cotton one they usually have like two a pair which has two bed sheets and also two pillowcases so for the cotton one which are the best the quality ones they usually start from a thousand bob they are they they usually even vary with colors the material the quality the quantity also the size of the bed four by six six by six five by five by six all that so six by six is much expensive because you know that like it's big and also the white bed sheets are always expensive because i guess they are white that's what makes them to be expensive because they are white yeah so for the cotton one they usually start from one thousand and even when you when you buy the cotton bed sheets from 1200 and you come and sell them at 1800 or, or 2000 what else do you want all that profit so we are going to go to the business number three that's a handbag business i usually like for me i saw a place kuna base flani let me talk in kiswahili just allow me kuna base flani like i saw whereby they're selling the bags from 100 bob and i bought like two of them for the first time and i went them went with them to church and there's some people who requested for them and i'm like 
wow wow and i sold the bags for 400 300 the profit of 300 guys guys so i usually get the bags from i usually get the bags from isili or either east lane for those who don't know the word isili don't really have to like have the stock in the house the ready stock when someone just asks for you when someone just asks for a bag you can just go because you can just request from the one who sells for you and also then the other thing you have to take the numbers like from like the ones who usually sell for you the 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 products or rather the goods yeah so the bags i usually get them also even from kamkunji and I, the buying price from 150 kenya shillings and i usually send, sell them at 600 that's that is like a triple yeah so and also from 700 and, the, and then the selling price may be 1200 yeah and the bags also in ta in kamkunji i usually get them as thermal or the place mall those two malls in isili i usually get the bags at 800 those designer bags those like yeah so this is what was here by the way this the buying price is always like 800 and they come and sell them at 1800 a difference of a profit difference of 1000 a thousand bob if i buy the bags at 1500 and i'll come and sell them at 3500 what else what else why why aren't you buying a car when you buy gary like kwanini so you don't need to have a, like a big stock as i had already said the third business idea whereby i have like it's not me but my friend usually do it up to date she usually sell like the fruits and it's a part-time job it is a part-time job because we are at school and she's she usually sell when she's at home like free so that with this business you have to start like from a maximum of capital 700 to a thousand kenya shillings and then you come make like buy the fruits you can buy the fruits the pineapple the melon and then the apple yeah so you buy those small containers whereby you just slice the fruits and then put them inside the, that a small, a small container with a piece with pieces of melon, pineapple, and some apple usually goes for fifty Kenya shillings, guys. And then I see like she usually puts, she usually adds like some sauce. She usually buy a yogurt with different flavors, vanilla, strawberry, all that good stuff. And she adds on the fruits and then she add, adds raspberry, blackberry, and then she adds like ground nuts. And then she pours yogurt. And that's a hundred bob, a hundred bob. With that, when you buy the fruits like for 600, you're going to go home with more than 2,000 Kenya shillings. If you haven't watched the, my, my previous video, kindly go and watch it. It's somewhere here up. So yeah, that's the business number. That's fruits business. And also you can go get, you know, like those people who work from town in such malls like Sour Mall, Sasa Mall, Imenti Mall, Imenti House, you can go and get orders from them because a lot of them don't usually carry lunch and they don't like feel going outside to go and get lunch because you know food at town going for lunch at town you have to have like a maximum kenya shillings of 250 going above so selling for them a hundred bob it's quite fair so go ahead, go get orders from those malls and I'm, I'm guaranteeing you it's guaranteed you're going to make money from them so the the last business which is also under beddings the last but not the least is nets nets hereby like this this is a good business by the way you know like people are giving birth you know this quarantine period people are giving birth people <laughs> 
people are making baby what? <laughs> so the buying price for the net they're usually 800 kenya shillings and then you come and sell them at from 1500 to 2 Ken 2000 kenya shillings what else do you ask for and you're here outside asking for business ideas business nini, nini, nini. and also the next thing that is under also like a bedroom or either beddings is wardrobes here you have portable wardrobes the wooden one and the plastic one the plastic ones are quite cheaper than the wooden one so the plastic ones the buying price is always 2000 and you come and send them at 3500 and also make sure you, like your products are so quality products like those good stuff those quality products and also the wooden one they're from 2800 and then you sell them at 4500 this is a business that i have done twice and if i've sold for you a net or a wardrobe or anything just comment in the comment section below because I want people to know that it's a legit job it's a legit business yeah so that's what we had for today i think i've helped one or two people yeah so from now just go get some capital start any business any business right now i'm selling like the aloe vera gel okay don't have it i usually put it here i don't have it and it's it's really good for your face those people who really saw my face before like you should go and check my other videos and see how my face is currently looking without makeup because right now i have makeup i'm from church by the way i've said like why don't i share a video like right now i've remembered something yeah so that's what i'll tell you i'll advise you or rather anyway thank you so much for watching if you have reached until this part i really love you so much daily squad daily squad so anyway let me see you on my next video enjoy your week bye